Hi my lovelies, it's Lunar Light Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. Hi if you're new, I'm so happy to have you with me here today. So I am really excited to give you guys this more of a general reading. Um, if you guys know me from way, way, way back in the day, I actually started my channel doing these more general readings. So I wanted to kind of get back to my roots, do something kind of different for you guys and just switch up the content. So this is more of a uh, client style reading. Uh, it's more of a, you know, if you watch this, this is for you reading. It's a general collective reading okay so that being said let's go ahead and get into some of the messages this is focused on love today all right that is the topic of today's reading and if you'd like a personal reading with me of course i am available go ahead and look in my description box below for all the information about that all righty so let's go ahead and get started so what is going on in love for those who are watching right now all right for those who are watching right now what is going on for them in love we have the queen of cups in reverse for those who are watching right now, what is going on for them in love? All right, let's see what comes out. And I wish I knew what deck name this was, but this is actually a gift. Okay, the emperor. What is going on for those who are watching in love currently? I can already tell you've been feeling quite like out of sorts lately uh, when it comes to a certain person in your life. Maybe your emotions are getting a little bit of the best of you. Um, someone's like messing with your emotional equilibrium lately. Okay, we'll start right here. All right, this is the Queen of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck. All right, so yeah, starting off with the Queen of Cups in reverse, like I already said, you may be feeling a little bit out of sorts in your emotions um, due to this like one person who's probably been in your life for a while. I'm really sensing you and this person have history with the Emperor card here. This is someone who's been in your life for a while and someone who may, someone, this person is very ambitious. They're very creative. They like to draw things into their life. They're probably uh, very career focused as well, especially with the Emperor and the King of Wands being here they're definitely very career focused um they're very like they have this thing with controlling themselves like they they may have like a little bit of an of an image um uh, thing going on with them you can see this emperor is decked out in all these amazing robes and the king of wands have always been kind of into their own image so this person could be into their own image and with the judgment card here i feel like you just may not know what to do about the situation um things between the two of you have gotten kind of messy you're not sure whether to continue or not so let's continue get some clarifiers here what is happening for those who are walking in love and the five of wands in reverse what is happening for those who are watching in love Okay, two fives here. So I'm already sensing that there could be um, a friend group involved as well. Maybe your friend group is telling you um, some conflicting things about what to do with this person. Somebody, some people are saying like, you should just you know, walk away from this. It's not good for you. This person is not serious. Some people are like, it seems that you guys have a really great connection. You, there's a lot of history between you two. Maybe you should make things work. And on the other hand, this emperor is feeling like, they messed up in the situation that things haven't gone according to plan. Yeah, we have the Four of Wands in reverse here. We have the Queen of Swords again. Um, I'm just gonna leave that right there so you can see those are matching cards. Yeah, the Four of Wands in reverse. This person feels like they've messed up the foundation. That's between the two of you. Um, they feel like they can't come in contact with you any longer, like especially physically. They feel like they can't come into physical contact with you. And they've messed up in some way. They're feeling guilty about a connection, okay? And they feel like it's the wrong time to come towards you. They feel like it's the wrong time to try and approach you. This person could have made you feel even insecure at one point because they weren't, you know, treating you according to your value. Right? Okay. And uh, yeah, they just don't know how to approach you right now with this Wheel of Fortune in reverse or if it is the right time to approach you. So let's go ahead and get some of these white cards. These are like my phrases and stuff. Okay, what is going on for those who are watching in love? What is going on for those who are watching in love? What is going on for those who are watching in love? Okay, I'm going to take this one that flipped over here. I want to be with you, but the timing isn't right, okay? Yeah, exactly. So I feel like something, yeah, something about timing is going on here. Something about um, like this person, maybe they're really too focused on their career, all right? What is going on for those who are watching in love? 
Okay, obsession, attachment, desperation, unhealed trauma. Now that could even be you guys, okay, who may be thinking about this too much because we do have the Queen of Cups in reverse, right? Maybe you are um, letting the situation get to your happiness. All right, when I say that, we have, I have I'm in a lot of pain right now. And under that is insecure, controlling, short-tempered, unhealed. This could be the both of you. If you're just a little bit, you know, insecure what's happening in the relationship, that's totally fine. That's very valid. Don't click off the video yet. Um, but you could be feeling in a lot of pain right now. Maybe this person's feeling in a lot of pain because they are feeling guilty. They're definitely feeling guilty about whatever has happened between the two of you. I just don't see this working out. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, you might have said this to this person. This person could have said this to you. Either way, I'm seeing that there was probably some kind of like separation, breakup between the two of you. But this person is still thinking about you. They still want to be in your life. I feel like I've known you before. Yeah, because they feel this very deep connection uh, between the two of you. But they just don't know how to mend things. Uh, underneath, underneath the deck, I also have, I find your friends and family hard to get along with. They don't get me. So this could be this emperor kind of saying that like, yeah, I don't really know how to get along uh, with the people who are giving you all these opinions. They have these negative opinions of me. I don't really know what to, what to do with that. So let's check out the romance angels now. What is going on in love for those who are watching this video currently? What is going on in love? And what is the advice and all that? All right, we have children. Yeah, this person could be being kind of childish. We also have wedding here. You know, maybe they said that they were very serious. Maybe they had the appearance of them being very serious, but in actuality, when you know them, they're actually kind of childish. You know, they're not really um, maybe up to the responsibilities of a relationship. Um, they possibly are like the runner and you're in this chaser dynamic with them, okay? What is going on in love for those who are watching this video? All right, what's this? Blah, blah, blah. It is safe for you to love and keep an open mind. So I feel like you're just trying to get to this place where it would be safe for you to love this person or you're actually thinking about going on to different options because you're like, well, it hasn't really been safe in this connection so far. You know, should I be thinking about moving on? Should I be thinking about a different option, right? Okay, if you have separation, yeah, you could, you're thinking about going even further into separation. You're thinking about possibly leaving this person behind, okay? What is going on in love for those who are watching this video? What is going on in love for those who are watching this video? One last card, please. And what should they do and all that? We have reconciliation. Okay, but know this person is going to try and come back into your life. Um, for you also have finances and career, and this person was too focused on their finances and their career to really give this relationship, you know, enough juice, enough, uh, you know, emotional, you know what I'm trying to say. Enough juice, really. <laughs> enough effort, you know what I mean? They, they are going to try and come back, though, okay? They're definitely going to try and come back. It's up to you, though, because this person still is coming up as childish. That's the thing. Okay, we have watch your thoughts, time to move on, and ready, set, go. Yeah, the thing is, when you think about this person, like, what do you think about? What does it make you feel? Do you feel anxious? Do you feel confused? Do you feel, um, you know, like your heart isn't safe? Do you feel secure? Do you feel safe? Do you feel comfortable? Uh, does it feel, this person make you feel like home? If, you know, if you're getting, if you're feeling confused in a relationship, that's already a red flag, okay? So if you're thinking about moving on to a relationship that makes you feel safe or moving on to even the pot, open up to the possibilities of other people who could make you feel this way, that's not a bad idea, okay? And again, with separation, I feel like you're thinking about moving on. Spirit's saying, you know, ready, set, go, you know? There's no need for you to have to wait for this person if they're not treating you the way that you want right now in the moment, you know? And I'm always I'm always for that. And I'm never, I'm never going to tell anybody to, like, wait for their love. I'll tell them to love yourself and, you know, don't tolerate anybody who's not going to give you peace in your life. Oh, uh, We have playtime and make a decision. We also have waves of prosperity. Um, and also music for manifesting, which I... What does this card even mean? Okay, putting it back. Anyway, so 
I feel like when this person comes back, it's going to be like playtime for them. You know what I mean? They're trying to come in and play with your emotions. They're trying to come in and play with your feelings. You know, they think of it as playtime. It's fun for them. It's a game for them. But it's not a game for you. These are your emotions. So, you know, make a decision about what you want to do when this person comes in. Uh, because you have the option to either, you know, let them in and let them try again. Um, you know, and just be aware they could be in the same cycle, right? Or you could, you know, move on to uh, the, the unknown, right? Which I really think is going to offer you waves of prosperity, okay? This says new abundance and exciting opportunities wash over you now. Um, the key word being new, right? Once that break free, okay? Try new ventures and experiences as a way to learn and grow. Yes, yeah, so, so don't be afraid to try anything new, guys, okay? All right, I'm gonna uh, go ahead and go to the island time wellness now. All right, what do, what do you have to say about this situation? What do you have to say about the situation, Spirit? What is what is the rest of the advice for this? All right. We have clock. Needs time, takes time, in time. Time to heal. Um, progress. Uh, yeah, I so feel like for this person needs a lot of time to heal. Like, are you really wait, willing to wait for this person to get their act together while you're out here, you know, living your best life? You don't, you don't have to wait for this person is what I'm getting from spirit, okay? Although they do want to come in and talk to you. You should just be aware. Just be aware. You know, you have a choice here. You don't have to listen to what I'm saying here. Um, you have a choice to either talk to this person or not because they really are going to message you. What's that karmic relationship? Fleetings, triggers, turmoil, lessons, letting go and loving you. So this is a karmic relationship is what I'm getting. It's really meant to help you uh, learn and uh, get rid of possibly some, um, you know, some, some energy that may be holding you back in your life, okay? Alrighty. What else do we got here? What else can you tell me about this relationship right now? Not enough. Yes, it's just not enough. Oh, you're frustrated in this relationship. All right. There's a lot of passion here, of course, with the passion card. But still, you're you're still frustrated. There's lack of confidence. There's some fear in this relationship. This person has ego issues. You might find yourself being jealous. You might find yourself being stressed out about this connection, confused about this connection. You know, uh, if you're feeling that way, it's, it's, it's not enough. It's not enough, though. But how does this person feel about you? I just want to get some extra background on that. How does the emperor feel about the viewer right now? They feel like you're single. They feel like you're living your best life. They feel like you don't actually don't really even care about them. For the emperor, how does the emperor feel? They feel like you're getting opportunities that they can't see. You know, they feel like you're behind the scenes dating other people. They feel like you already have clarity in the situation. They feel like you've already probably moved on and that you're happy without them. And maybe you are, you know, maybe it's been a long time between, um, that you guys have talked. Yeah. Yeah, they feel like you've already moved on onto whole different things, you know, and it may act, they see you as the empress and that you've, you know, been in your chariot going your own way. But in actuality, you're kind of still thinking about this a little bit. It's, it's holding you back just a teensy weensy bit. And I'm going to ask, like, what are they going to say when they come in? What are they going to say? When they come in, um, seven of cups in reverse. I'm gonna say that I I choose you. You know I've I've you know I've seen all these options and you're the one that I want. What are they gonna say when they come in? All right, you're gonna say oh, I want to start over here with the ace of cups. I want commitment with the hair in here. I want to try and try for a committed relationship again. I want a relationship with you, but it's gonna make you feel kind of trapped here with the eight of swords, right? Because you're gonna know with the hanged man, you're gonna know that. You're going to scream, have heard this all before, you know what I mean? So you're going to be more inclined to move on this time is really what I'm getting. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up with the Immunology cards now. What is the best advice for all my viewers? What is the best advice for all my viewers? Meditate and contemplate, guys. Think about what you really want. Think about what's going to give you the most peace. That's really what matters. What's going to give you the most peace? What's going to add happiness? to your life okay that's what i have to say what is the best advice for those watching right now what is the best advice for those watching currently what is the best love advice for those currently watching come on please give me a card oh as soon as i say that nothing is yet set in stone okay yeah guys i mean you can take my advice you cannot take it you know what i mean um just you know just be aware don't 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 be with this person out of comfort that's a big thing but also nothing is yet set in stone I mean, they could they could come back changed you know they might come back changed but i don't necessarily see that a win-win outcome is in the forecast so whatever you choose i do feel like it's going to be a win-win um and if you do choose to let go it'll be good for you is what i'm getting you and your loved ones are safe also just know that you know you are safe 
You're safe to, you know, go out and choose a different path. You're safe to, you know, choose the same path. You're going to be, you're going to be safe. And whatever you do choose is probably going to be for your highest learning experience, okay? Also, be bold and make the first move. You know, don't be afraid to step out there onto, um, you know, different territory, all right? Wow, guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this. I thought this was a lot of fun. Of course, I have another reading for you coming up, the OGs. I think I forgot about my OGs. It's going to be a little bit smaller than this, but um, yeah, I wanted to just think that was like fun for you guys something that was fresh and different hope you guys enjoy this and i hope this gave you a lot of clarity what is going on in your love life okay lots of love all right bye Hey there to my OGs, it's here to the very end of the video. I am so happy to have you all here. Of course, you're here, go ahead and leave a star emoji down below and I will respond to all of your star emojis. Um, also, thanks you guys for your patience with me throughout this last week. I'm actually moving. That's why I've been kind of like MIA on YouTube lately. If you know, you know, if you don't, just ignore that. But anyway, uh, let's go ahead and get into your messages. This is gonna be what's coming next for you in love. So my encompass what's happening now and also what's coming next, okay? So let's go ahead and find that out. So for my OGs, what is coming for them next in love? Alrighty, we've got two that wanted to just, oh, three actually that wanted to fly out. Seven of Wands, the Hanged Man, and the Six of Swords in reverse. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, the Empress, I'm done. Okay, this is fantastic, actually. Some, some of you guys are probably like, Wait, what? Like, okay, I have good news for you, all right? You guys are going to come into a lot of love offers in the near future. You're probably like, um, I don't even know what you're talking about. But seriously, guys, you're going to be coming into a lot of love offers with the Seven of Wands coming in here. This is like, um, you know, hinge messages, Tinder messages, you know, people asking you out on dates, people asking you out, maybe, maybe not in person, but, you know, I'm getting a lot, a lot of people wanting to ask you out, people wanting to be around your energy. And it's because you've really just kind of been hanging back. You're in your own energy. You're enjoying yourself. You actually really love yourself. And that energy is very apparent to anyone who's around you, okay? Especially if you have any like friends of friends who are kind of interested in you. I'm seeing them now approaching you, you know, wanting to get with you. Cuffing season is coming up. So, you know, there's a lot of people who are wanting to uh, knock on your door there. All right. So also Six of Swords in reverse. There's someone who can't move on from you also who will be trying to come back into your life because they see that you are the empress. You see that they see that you have everything that you that they would want in a person. You're very abundant. You're very beautiful. Uh, very handsome for some of you. I feel like your chest area is also, um, people like that as well, and your stomach. Okay, what's happening next? What is coming next in love for my OGs? Okay, we have the King of Wands coming in here. See what I mean? Like, there is some kind of um, love offer coming in. What's happening next? The Sun. Mm hmm. What is happening next in love? The Hierophant in reverse. Mm hmm. And the Ten of Cups. Guys, seriously, you see what I'm saying? Like, there are people here that want to, like, take you out and get to know you better. So, the people who are coming in are going to be those who are going to put a lot more effort into relationships. They're going to be kings. They're going to be queens. You know, they're going to be people who are reliable, who you can count on to follow through on dates and events and effort, things like that, okay? With the Sun card also being here, I'm seeing that this is going to be a time of great prosperity for you, great abundance, a lot of happiness coming through, you know, a lot of um, good times and romantic times, okay? Also, when it comes to this person who can't get over you, I'm seeing that this person had trouble with commitment in the past. They're going to come through again, though, and try to get back with you, you know, go ahead and do what you have to do in terms of that. And uh, lastly, with the Ten of Cups here, again, a lot of people are just seeing you as a great romantic option, all right? So let's continue. What is coming in? What's coming next? Trust, okay? Just trust the universe to deliver this to you. You may not believe me right now, but that's totally fine. I'm just giving you the messages worth waiting for because whatever's happening to you is, is definitely worth waiting for. What's that past life relationship? Again, someone from your past is coming back or this could be an actual past life relationship coming in for you, but I am seeing that something that is worth waiting for is coming in, okay? You may not believe that it's happening right now. Just trust though. Just trust that it's on its way. What's happening next for my OGs in love? What is happening next for my OGs in love? What is happening next? We have consult an expert, make a wish. Okay. 
Um, if you guys have like a dating profile, I would say, you know, go to your most tech savvy, your most dating savvy friend and have this person revamp your profile for you. Okay. Uh, also make a wish, you know, write down exactly what you want in terms of romance and it will come to you and be very, very specific. Okay. Be very, very specific. Also, what do we have here? Soulmate relationship. Guys, I'm not playing. I'm not playing. You guys have someone coming in here, uh, multiple people, multiple offers coming in here. It's actually going to be a really great time for you in love, uh, whether it be when you're watching this video now or whenever you're watching it. Okay, what's up, self-employment? Maybe you guys are self-employed. Things are going really well in terms of that as well. I'm actually not, I'm actually not going to use uh, these. You know, how can I say I'm not going to use them and then pick them up? No, 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 I'm going to use these. So, <laughs> all right, give me some cards about my OGs, what's happening next for them in love. All right, what do we got? I'm here for attention, not commitment. I'm sorry I treat you like an option. So this one person who has feelings for you is coming through. They're sorry they treat you like an option. They were there for attention in the past, but now they want some more commitment. All right, what's coming in for my OGs in terms of love? What's coming in next for my OGs in terms of love? So this person could be coming in and saying that to you. They could be messaging you, things like that. I'm just going to get one more. Here it is. I'm not proud of the person I've become. So yeah, that's that one person, okay? Also, this is only a test. Don't settle. So this wanted to give you some extra messages about this one person. I would say definitely don't settle for that for that whoever you know had commitment issues in the past because you have so many more options coming in, and especially a soulmate as well. So don't even worry about that other person, okay? Yeah, what's coming in for my OGs? All right, we have talking and stabbed in the back also. That's so random. Okay, so I think you're going to be talking with a lot more people soon. Also, this person who stabbed you in the back is going to come in and give you a message. So just be aware. With the talking coming in first, though, I'm really seeing that you're getting more focused on, you know, talking to different people versus talking to this person who stabbed you in the back. So please don't worry about that. All right, what's coming in next for my OGs? This person is definitely coming in strong, though. All right, we have hammer. Yeah, sabotage, rebuilding, repetitive, persistent, working on it. They're really going to come in and try and like work you. Yeah, they were the runner at one point in this relationship. Now they want to come back. Now they're kind of chasing you. But you're more focused on other things. You're more focused on getting um, to people who actually want to be with you, people who actually are a good match for you. All right, we have, yeah, date, meeting someone new, getting back out there. All right, plan or set a date. Yes, there's a lot of people who actually want to date you and don't want to make you chase them as well. That's a really big thing. They don't want to make you chase them. They just want to come in and enjoy a connection with you. And that's what, that's what I see you focusing on in the near future. All right, and lastly, I'm going to get some Moonology cards. So what is coming in for my OGs uh, in love? What is coming in for my OGs, my original gangsters in love? The answers you need are coming. So yeah, again, this person is really good to come in and give you some answers, um, possibly even some closure about this relationship. We give ourselves our own closure, right? But aside from that, this person is going to come in and give you some answers. Look at the bigger picture. Nothing is yet set in stone. Again, so guys, don't even worry about this person coming in. The bigger picture, even though they're trying to dominate the reading, the bigger picture is that you have a lot of love offers coming in. Try and revamp that profile if you know somebody who's really good at that because you have a lot of happiness coming your way. So don't even worry about this one person. And it's not set in stone. You know, I may say this right now. They may not come in. That's okay. The energy changes. You know what I mean? So if you're worried about them coming in, don't be worried. Like I had a million readers tell me my ex was going to come talk to me. He never came and talked to me. I mean, he still might, but I mean, he probably won't though. You know what I mean? So it's all good. Okay. Work through your fears. Yeah, if this, if this makes you like nervous, like don't don't be afraid. Just plan out what you're going to say to them and be firm in it, and then don't think about it. You know. But what is the, what is the best advice though for their love life? What is the best advice? Uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches definitely, and a time to give rather than to take. Actually, I feel like that's kind of almost reversed for you. I feel like this is a time people are going to be giving to you because you're in the hanged man or woman position. This is like. You know, you just relax and people are coming to you, okay? The end of a tough cycle is approaching. Um, this person may even mark the end of a tough cycle when they come in and try and, like, get at you again. But just realize that you're doing so fantastically well. That's why this person wants to come back to you in the first place. But again, you have so many different options because you are just that bitch. Let's be real. So, um, yeah, I love that you enjoyed this reading today. If you did, please give it a red heart emoji. And I will like all your heart emojis down below. Um, yeah, if you want a personal reading from me, I would love to help you out. Go ahead and look in my description box below. 
for all the information about that. They're kind of similar to this, but more question based. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this style of reading today. I just wanted to switch it up for you guys. And uh, yeah, be sure to follow me on TikTok if you like videos kind of like these. You know, it's more spontaneous messages. Uh, and that's pretty much all I have to say. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. Um, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one, okay? Thank you so much. Bye.